How is it going guys? Drew Peacock here back with another video and today we're back on Instagram taking a look at some dummy dum dums destroying their vehicles. Some of them will commit felonies, others will just damage property, but they're all dummy dum dums. This video will probably not get monetized just because of the things I'm going to show. No one dies or, or gets seriously injured, but the bots on Instagram and YouTube are going to pick it up and it's just not going to work out. So if you want to support the channel, pick up some merch, link in the description down below. We just released some summer merch. So if you want to cop a new fit to wear in your living room, go pick it up now. All right. First clip. GTA is life. Okay. All right. <laughs> Yeah, you see, the thing is, in GTA, that is a pussy-ass jump. You could jump off of fucking buildings in GTA, let alone go over a little five-foot jump like that. In real life, though, if you, ain't got ups <laughs> if you ain't got upgraded suspension, your car is fucked. You ain't leaving that parking lot without the assistance of a tow truck. Luckily, you got your number one homie right there running after you to make sure you're okay, which you probably are. You're probably not, you know, injured at all from that little jump, but your car, like I said before, yeah, I doubt it's leaving there i'm pretty sure you're gonna need a new oil pan for sure some suspension components at least an alignment but i mean we're shooting for the stars with that i guarantee you need probably a good couple thousand dollars worth of repair so just remember guys if you're gonna do something stupid make sure you have a friend with a video camera so that way i can talk about it all right next clip Homeboy just went from a minor accident to a felony real quick and probably a few lawsuits because I guarantee some of those fucking pedestrians, I know if I was there, are gonna have some minor injuries to maybe some major injuries depending on what their lawyers and doctors say. So, and I wouldn't blame them either, you know, might as well cash out and get a nice ass whip on someone else's expense. I mean, fuck it, he hit you with his car, you might as well buy a new Mustang GT or an Evo, fuck it. Anyways. Yeah, if, if you don't know what you're doing, don't go to these. Well, don't go to these in general. I do not support these takeovers and these stupid sideshows are retarded. They're just dumb, okay? Dumb people show up to them and they do dumb things and people get hurt and they make the whole rest of the car scene look bad. Look at this guy, for instance. He has about as much control over his vehicle as a six-year-old. Hell, his car looks like it was fucking designed by a six-year-old. I do understand why they're doing this. I mean, if you look in the background, $1.99 for gas? Now that is something to party about. So yeah, go out in the middle right here, do some donuts, go fill up again, do some more donuts. Might as well, right? With gas that cheap? Fuck, I might be doing the same. I probably wouldn't. I'd be out racing. That'd be way more fun than this. Not only do you actually get to test your car against other people's, but it's a lot safer in a sense. You're not running over pedestrians. I, you know, I guess how many people I ran over in my Mustang racing? Zero. I ran over zero people. Anyways. Don't be dumb. Don't be this guy. I guarantee he's got a warrant out for his arrest. Like, let's just think about it really quick though, okay? Before we end on this clip. Think about it. How many people are fucking filming right here? Hundreds. Promise you, hundreds of people just recorded this act, multiple different camera angles, and you're gonna run? You are stupid. And especially if your car is that, like, recognizable, you are stupid. Alright, next post. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and say it. Whoever thought of this idea deserves a motherfucking raise. Think about it. This is the clever, this is the most clever marketing I have seen in a while. 236,000 views on this video, plus the 10 that are gonna come from my video. Think about it. All of this just to go down some parade or some car show. You know how many people are going to take pictures of this and see your name on the side of this Jeep? This is the most clever marketing I've seen in forever. You have something as crazy as a Jeep, okay? A lot of people do the crazy off-road builds, 
but no one cares about those. So what? It's just another Jeep. But if you do something like this where people are going to record and take videos and stuff, they're not advertising the wheels. They're advertising the LEDs all over the car. I mean, this is the perfect getaway vehicle with a wing like that. Think about it. Robbing a bank with a wing like that, a minigun, and you got a bunch of people that can fit in it. Perfect GTA 5 getaway vehicle. All the speed you can ever need with all the style and flex that you'll ever want. Why even rob a bank when you got this much drip? Now, as a car, it just looks funny. It's just it's just a funny looking car. Obviously, they're not serious. You can tell just by the way that they look and the way that they're just chilling. They're not serious. They're not trying to flex on nobody, but it is very clever respect. All right, we've made it to the shitty meme of the episode. Mustangs can't do this. Let me try. Hey, look, I can do it as well. Okay, so we can establish that any car can do anything if you dump any amount of money into them. Okay, cool. What is the point of this meme? Really? I just, I don't, I don't get it. I, don't, I just, memes are stupid. Car memes are stupid. Meme car fan pages are stupid. We got to end them all. Just end them all. These are just really cringy. 11,000 likes on this. Think about it. I mean, if anything, it would make more sense if it was like a straight line and be like, Mustangs can't do this. That would make sense. Okay, and I've seen memes like that before. So you don't be clever and try to become the first person to do that. I've seen memes like that before. But if you think about it, it's, this is just a controlled spinning out. This is literally just controlling your car breaking loose. Mustangs are pros at breaking loose. So imagine if someone can control that. It's the best drift car ever. And then if you fill the track with crowds, oh my god, it's just going to be fucking swerving all over. It's going to be the best drift missile out there. All right, next post. You alright, bro? Yeah. Y'all fucking tripping, bro. You, you alright? Yeah. You got your. Is you, are you, you good? Your Where's it at? Hey! Can you help up, bro? You alright, bro? Are you good, bro? Yeah, I'm just shaking. Alright, all right, bro. As long as you're good, bro. Yeah, I got you. Oh, fuck. You missing just one or you got the other one? No, it's just one. Alright, my bad, my bad. Can you help up? All right, I just want to talk about one thing before I talk about the uh, dumbass Camaro driver and his stupid ass posse. Respect to the people that were checking on this guy and anyone else that was might have that might have been knocked down from this accident. Respect to you, man. You guys showed that there is some humanity left, and uh, respect to you for checking on them instead of going and just recording the Camaro and yelling, "Oh my God, look at this!" Like these people in the background. Respect to you guys for actually checking on this guy. But that being said, come on, Camaro driver, look it. Look how many people you injured. Look how dumb you are. Okay, so there's two already hanging out of the windows. Keep that in mind. One of them gets flung off right there and the second one probably gets fucking slingshotted out the side of the window right there look at how dumb do you have to be take notes okay i'm not going to pause it this time you got two people hanging out the car it looks like maybe one on the trunk or the windshield and one's gone second one's gone right there how dumb do you have to be to risk your life and other people's lives just to impress a bunch of random people how dumb this is why i don't like takeovers and sideshows and all that shit because people just get hurt it's inevitable some people just don't know what the hell they're doing, and it's not in a safe area to where if you crash, nobody's going to get hurt. It's stupid. Uh, again, it's just, it's absolutely dumb. I wish it was only the Camaro driver and his posse of idiots that got hurt, but instead, it looks like some innocent people got hurt. No one seriously hurt, just a couple people knocked down, thankfully, but come on, man. Like, you don't got to be stupid. All right, next post. This is what happens when you give the car to somebody skilled. They don't even need to drive with their hands. They drive with their balls. I mean, once you get it going, I mean, I guess you don't got to do much. He might be holding it with his knee, but I mean, it just looks funny because it's just like the tiniest car. They're going like somewhat slow and it's just super controlled. They're just they're just going in circles with their hands up. It just looks funny. It just It's just like, how can you not just smile at this when you're looking at it? Now this, I mean, yeah, there's people around. But at least they're not, you know, trying to do anything crazy. They're just going in a very tight circle. It seems like they got it under control, unlike the other clowns. So, props to you. At least you're doing it in, like, a very small area. All right, last post. <laughs> Wouldn't your 
initial thought when trying to do something somewhat dangerous be to buckle up and maybe lock the doors? No? Alright, whatever, yeah, just go jog to your car as it drives off of the edge of the road. Just, yeah, just whatever, just fucking, yeah, who cares, whatever, I'll just, you know, I'll just fish this Mustang out with this Honda Civic, because the truck's already leaving, so, or he was getting ready. You know what, that's what it was, the truck was getting ready, he knew exactly what was gonna happen, he can tell the future, he's like, here goes fucking Rick and his damn Mustang again. Dude, this is the third time this week, we told you, buckle up and lock the fucking door. This fucking Rick never learns, stupid Rick. Yeah, that's what you get though. Should have buckled up. Should have known what you were doing. Instead, you look like a doofus and now you gotta fucking pull your car out with a truck. I say you guys teach this guy a lesson and leave his car there. Leave it there overnight. See, see if he, you know, comes to respect what he has and maybe he'll learn to buckle up. Especially if he's doing something stupid like donuts. Like, don't you want to be held in your seat? At least somewhat? Or, you know, if you crash, you don't want to get, you know, flung out the window or something? I know you know you're doing donuts and it's in a small area, but come on, man. Like, shit can happen. You get what you deserve, pal. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed this video of these clowns, leave a thumbs up. Comment down below which clown was the biggest. This guy was kind of a certified clown right here with this Mustang. I mean, he didn't buckle up or lock his door or anything like that. And he must have been leaning on that shit, too, because it fucking forcefully popped open. So that's what you get for being a clown. Subscribe to see more videos like this one. And until next video, peace.